This is an LC-130. What makes this aircraft different from other C-130s is the skis. These skis will allow the LC-130 to land on the snow in Antarctica. Lieutenant Colonel Gary James, the commander of the 109th Operations Group, says that flying to Antarctica is different from the usual Air Force mission. You know, sometimes you feel like you're not really supporting the military protection of the nation, but actually Antarctica is a vital national interest to the nation too. So the way I look at my job is I'm supporting our national vital interest because we want to maintain a presence in Antarctica. And uh, the way we're doing that right now is we're doing it through scientific support, scientific effort. First Lieutenant Matt Sala is looking forward to his first chance to pilot an LC-130 to Antarctica. I've gone down to the ice many times as a crew chief, and uh, it's the first time actually being up in the front seat, so it's a little bit more challenging, definitely a learning experience. Looking forward to actually seeing the airplane perform on the snow and be in control of it, as opposed to uh, getting it ready for pilots. It's a different world. Tech Sergeant Rick Kirker is a hydraulics craftsman with the 109th Maintenance Squadron. He says the added hydraulics needed to operate the skis requires a lot of work, but working in Antarctica provides even more challenges. There are no hangars. There's no, uh, there's no protection from the elements. The only protection from the elements that we have is the gear that we're wearing. After completing their mission, the members of the 109th Airlift Wing will return to Stratton Air National Guard Base in New York to continue their role as guardsmen. Senior Airman Anthony Kuhn, Hickam Air Force Base, Hawaii.